guys, this is the last one for 2019. Hello again team, it's Jess or Jashi Curran and welcome back for my week 52 plan with me. Oh my gosh, it's the last weekly of this journal and it's the last weekly of 2019. Isn't that crazy? I don't know about you guys, but I really feel like this year has flown by in a lot of ways. There were some periods where time seemed to drag on a little more slowly than I would have liked, but having a look back now, it was way too fast. As can be expected though, today I'm setting up for the 23rd through to the 29th of December. But as per usual, we're going to have a look at how this week is going. So as you'll remember from my last weekly plan with me, for this week I was using a folded Dutch door. And although this still is a folded Dutch door, I ended up taping one side to the other. So now it's just a half page rather than a full page. I've actually really been enjoying this layout, so I think I'm going to do something quite similar for next week. Also, it uses more pages up, and I do have some left over. Before we jump into the time lapse, just a reminder that any of the equipment I use in today's setup is linked in the description box below. Let's get started. With this being another Dutch door layout, it of course uses three pages from my journal. To start off with, I folded the middle page to make the folded Dutch door, and then I just used some double-sided tape to stick it to the page on the left. After this, it was in with my pit artist pen to do all of my black line work. As I mentioned, for the week coming, I wanted a fairly similar layout, but with a couple of changes. I still wanted to have that section on the left that had the summary for my events, but I've been finding that this week, there's just too much space on an entire page just to record my events. This is where sticking down that Dutch door came in. Although this week I've effectively only used one side of a page for my daily checklists, it would be nice to have a little bit extra space for that and not quite as much space for an events list. Also this week, as much as I do like having the build as you go daily checkboxes, I've again been missing the ability to put down tasks for days that I'm not on, so days that are later in the week. This is a recurring theme and something that I keep coming back to, so I don't know why I keep setting up weeklies that don't have sections for each day already laid out. Actually, that's a total lie, I know exactly why I do it, and it's because I don't like wasted space. If you build the boxes as you go, they're always going to be full. On this weekly, however, I do put in a section for each day of the week for me to write those checklists. I also decided that because there's only two days of 2019 in the week after, that I put down space for those as well. Not in the events list, just in the daily checkbox section. As a side note, and just as I'm doing my colouring in, I'm hoping that next week I can get back into answering your guys' questions. So if you do have any questions that you want me to answer in next week's plan with me, please do leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I just have to fill these plan with me's with me rambling, and nobody wants that. <laughs> As a little bit of an homage or a throwback to the start of the year, for my number boxes for each day of the week in my events list, I did a scribble of the Tombow color and then drew an outline underneath this to look like that color was sitting on top of a box. This was something that I did for all of the headers in my January setup and I thought it would be a nice way to kind of end the year the same way that I started. Talking about January setups though, I am very eager to do mine, I'm just nervous to start. <laughs> Having used the dingbats for the last six months, I've gotten really used to the amount of space that I had, the amount of boxes across, all of that kind of stuff, so setting up a new month in my Archer and Olive, I'm a little bit apprehensive about. If you guys have theme suggestions though, I would love to hear them. Honestly, I'm feeling a little bit uncreative and not sure what to do. Alrighty, so we have a section for a summary of the week's events, a space for my daily checklists up until the 31st, and then a nice big space over here for a running to-do list. Quite similar to what I had last week, I just found that with this Dutch door I would have just preferred it to be stuck on this side because there was so much wasted space here, so that's what I actually did this week. Another layout that I am again excited to use, but I won't be populating this one until I do my weekly review on the weekend. 
Thank you for watching team. If you liked today's video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanted to see more from me, feel free to go check out one of my other videos. Until next time, bye.